main water distribution plant here in Cott County. They've got other supplies, trash bags, sugary drinks for the kids just to kind of have some feeling of normalcy. Pets, another thing that a lot of people have asked about, how can we help the animals? And our Aaron Rogers joins us live from Cott County as well. And Aaron, you talked to a group who's doing just that, making sure our four-legged friends are taken care of. Yeah, the Humane Society here, um, Harry. So the Humane Society, like I said, here in Cott County has been working a lot to get some donations in not only just water because we are under that bo uh, boil water advisory here, but that also means you can't drink it, your pets can't drink it. So they're having to get water donations, food donations, and water for cleaning the shelter. Um, and so when that flood water came in, the shelter was not hit, thankfully, but they did have to send a lot of their animals up north to kind of get out of the way, but also to make room for new pets that they were finding in the flood. Now that's there's they've had two dogs that they've found so far, two puppies that were found down by the river. Those two animals are now being held at the Humane Society, but they're working with owners to try and figure out uh, how to figure out if these pets are strays, if they're owned, uh, and they're doing that through the internet. But mostly we need pictures so that we can post them and see if they are identified as a missing animal and then um, we will eventually be taking some in but we've been using fosters right now due to the fact that we didn't have the ability to clean our our uh, facility now the shelter asks people to call or visit their website if you're looking for a pet that you've lost. It's a, a great resource for people that are really devastated after this flood. And a lot of people have reached out to WVLT as well, looking how they can donate not only dog food, but water, money, whatever it may be, food um, to communities here in East Tennessee. And we've got a full list of resources in the WVLT news app and on our website if you're interested. But for right now, I'll toss it back to you, Harry. All right, Aaron, thank you very much. Yes, so many people reaching out to help in any way they can. Tima told us earlier this week the best thing.